So folks, welcome back to the city of Caesarea. This time I'm visiting the Crusader section and the port of the city. So the moat you see over here dates back to the time of the Crusaders. Unlike moats in Europe, all of the moats in the Holy Land except for one were dry. And the area um, below was used for vegetation. The area of the city of Caesarea was the last stronghold of the Crusaders before being kicked out of the country by the Muslims in the 13th century. So right now we are entering uh, through the gate of the city of Caesarea that was built during the time of the Crusaders. Okay, so friends, right now I'm next to the Nymphamium. And this is the public fountain that stood in the center of ancient Caesarea on the main road that led to the port. So friends, the harbor of Caesarea was one of the most sophisticated man-made harbors of its time and the largest and boldest in concept. Its construction merged traditional methods with innovative engineering techniques, including artificial deep water islands as foundations of the piers and breakwaters. The harbor could accommodate hundreds of ships. Today, the area of uh, the Crusader city and the port is very popular among locals. Lots of local restaurants, art galleries are located in this area. Okay, so friends, the mosque behind my back dates back to the time of the Turks. This area was given to the Bosnians when they fled um, and took refuge to the Ottoman Empire back in the 18th and 19th centuries. So friends, this is the area where a temple for Augustus used to be located. People, travelers used to see the temple of Augustus the first when they used to arrive to the Holy Land. Let me show you a mosaic floor that was found where Archaeologists believe it used to belong to the platform of the Temple of Augustus. It's a Roman mosaic with geometric patterns. You can see over here. So friends, I'm about to enter a Roman bathhouse that dates back to the 1st and 2nd centuries AD. Roman bathhouses were found in every single Roman city in the world. It was part of the Roman culture. And unlike the Greeks, Romans made entertainment accessible for everyone. While in the Greek period, it was accessible only for the wealthy people. So friends, that's it for the Crusader part and the port of the city of Caesarea. Thank you for joining me. Stay tuned. More content will be uploaded soon. Take care.